India is emerging as a force to reckon with, not just on the ground, but in space too. Several global private space companies are now turning towards the country as an alternative to China and Russia due to Beijing's increasing tension with the US and Ukraine attack. The two countries, along with SpaceX, have been the main providers of satellite launches. London-based OneWeb too turned to India recently after Russia scuppered the original launch last year. And last month, India's state-owned New Space launched three dozen communication satellites for OneWeb from an island off the nation's eastern coast. Only a few days later, India came out with a space policy. Last Thursday, the Union Cabinet approved the much-awaited Indian Space Policy 2023. After the announcement, Union Minister Jitendra Singh said that private sector companies will now be able to build rockets, satellites and launch vehicles and therefore gain access to end-to-end -end space activities. This new space policy, which was approved by a cabinet committee hemmed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, clearly defines the responsibilities of ISRO, the Space Sector PSU New Space India Limited or NSIL, and the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre or InSpace. It is also designed to regulate and boost private sector participation and investment in the space sector. The role of ISRO would be uh, more of development of new technologies, validation, testing, certification, the role that a typical space agency should be doing. Whereas uh, the policy would also encourage the uh, private sector to from being vendors to ISRO to being partners and in the larger scheme of things to become full-time players in the space industry, not only in terms of launches, but also in development of satellites, communication, navigation, surveillance, observation satellites. The third aspect of this policy would probably be the institutionalization of in-space as an interface between the industry, stakeholders and ISRO. Currently, despite leading in complex space tech and launch vehicles, the Indian space market is worth 7 billion US dollars which is just about 2% of the global space market. So, what are the opportunities that the policy offers and are there any challenges that should be addressed? Uh, the biggest challenge is uh, that the industry generally in the space sector has always remained a tierized, as I said. So, there has always been a dependence for knowledge on uh, the ISRO to stand on their own feet, they will have to find enormous amount of business models which gradually elevates them from the TRIs to the main players. Also, uh, handholding by uh, the government agencies is going to be essential and required. And this is precisely where the role of the in-space. The third aspect is to ensure that the policy grants perfect level playing field because uh, handling material that are perfectly stable in space in the perfect vacuum is uh, something very very special we are all conscious that uh, this is something which has to be granted and uh, allowed to the smaller players the strength of the indian space program lies in its frugal engineering uh, the the cost of launch of satellites by india is much lower as compared to its counterparts in the west uh, I can see that being taken over by the private sector as well when they are developing new technologies, even in the cryogenic sector, as well as in development of the buses for the satellites and the applications. The, uh, the future of space is in constellations and small satellites. I think uh, most of the private sector players would target that. And what are the areas that need immediate attention? Very particular in, in peculiar in case of space, the 80% of space market actually is in getting data and analysis of that data and proliferating that data in different forms. Data access and availability of data today, especially in case of India, is only with the different departments of the Department of Space. Now, this is where access to the data uh, becomes extremely important. 
Now on the second side uh, is uh, after the data is available, what is the cost that data is available at? Uh, how does it compare with the international prices if uh, from somewhere else it has to be taken? While experts welcome the policy's initiative to boost private participation in the space sector, they also point out that this should be taken as an opportunity to upscale India's space exploration infrastructure. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.